I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on complex numbers. We'll discuss how to represent inequalities on the domain of complex numbers. I hope you have already watched my video on complex numbers equations, representation on Argon diagrams. This time we'll take inequalities. We're going to work on these items here shown, meaning of the absolute value of z minus z1 less than equal to r and then after understanding this concept we are going to take these four examples. These four examples will help you to get the insight to this topic. So first example will be based on to graph the set of points where absolute value of z is less than 4 then set of points where for z for z minus 5 greater than 4 then we'll look into set of points z for absolute value of z minus 3i less than or equal to 4 and then set of points of z for absolute value of 3 minus z minus 4i greater than 6. So we say loci as another term which is set of points. Now in all these examples we are actually sketching circle. Right, so that is very important. So what we learned earlier and let me review it here. When I say absolute value of z minus z1 is less than or equal to r, it means z1 is our specific vector, right? So let's call z1 as um, sometimes we refer this to vectors, but we are not talking only about complex numbers in general. So let it this be a plus bi, okay? So this could be represented on our argon diagram. Horizontal axis will be treated for real numbers, vertical as imaginary, right? Sometimes we write i, y there and x on this side. So when I say z is a plus b i, then from the center, the value is a means go right, real a, and then go up, right? So we get this point and that becomes the complex number z i, right? So this represents z i, z 1, I should say, equals to a plus b i, correct? Now, z is basically, in our space, a general point. So that is a general point. So anywhere, but with the condition, and in this particular case, we have a condition, and meeting that condition, we'll find that it is basically uh, somewhere from this point to within, right? So let me first make this as, as z. And uh, when we say z minus z1, it means this. So this is, this is basically z minus z1, correct? Now, we have to look into another parameter which we have introduced, and that is uh, the value of... Uh, less than equal to r. Now z minus z1 is basically r. So when I say less than equal to r, that means this z could be anywhere inside the circle, including the points on the circle. So less than equal to means that we're looking for this particular graph. Does it make sense to you, right? So we're looking for this circle and everything inside the circle. Perfect. So when I do that, fill this up, in that case, what have I done here? I have shown z minus z1 less than or equal to r. Is that clear? So that is how we are going to work and take up all the examples. I hope that is absolutely clear, right? So, so this circle which we are talking about will have center. And this center will be 
uh, provided by the point Z1 and we'll have a radius and this radius will be R, the number given on this side. Perfect. So let's begin and do these examples one after the other. The very first one here is that we have a circle less than four, right? So that means we can sketch a circle and where is the center for this circle? Well, let's keep in mind the equation Z minus Z1. Uh, in this case, R, we have less than R, correct? So for us, the radius is four units, right? So this R equals to four units. What is the value of Z1? Well, that is zero plus zero I. You can say it is the origin, right? So basically this point is origin for you. Is that clear? So, so we have origin as center. Clear? And that becomes four and this is four I. Is that clear to you, right? So, so the radius is four, right? So that is how you're going to get the, the sketch, right? So this is real, this is imaginary axis. Is that clear to you? So it means everything less than. Now, how do you show less than? Well, when it is less than, it means within, correct? So it is inside the circle, but circle is not included. So we'll have dotted line here. So once I do that, then I'm actually showing you the inequality, which is Z is less than four, right? So what you have to note here is that circle circumference not included. So we show it with the dotted circle. Is that clear to you, right? So inside of the circle, not including the periphery. That's what we are trying to say. Perfect. Let's take the next example now. Now let's try to sketch the set of points Z for absolute value of Z minus five greater than four. To understand it, what are we looking for? We are looking for a circle, right, whose center is at, at five, right? So at five, and whose radius is four units. And that greater than means outside. Is that clear, right? So uh, let me just sketch a circle here. So we're looking for a circle whose radius has to be greater than, I and mean, this is the radius, right? So when we compare, we are always comparing with uh, Z minus Z1 greater than R, right? So that is the radius. Now, since it is five units on the real axis, that becomes our real axis, right? Four is the radius, so that means somewhere here will be our imaginary axis. Is that clear to you, right? So this point is at five. Five plus four gives you that point and minus four gives you this point. Perfect. So that defines a circle. Now when we say greater than four, it means what? It is outside, right? So it is outside this, so all is outside where points on the circle are not included. Is that clear to you? So if they are not included, it's a good idea to put this dashed line here. Solid means included. Is that clear? So outside. So outside means circle is dashed, not including, and all this. Perfect. So that is how you are going to show the represent, uh, represent the inequality on Argon diagram. Clear? 
The next one here is Z. We have to compare with the standard equation. It's always better to standardize things. Now here, in this case, as far as the circle is concerned, the center is where? So in this case, the center is at 3i. What is the radius? Is 4. And what type of inequality we have? The inequality shows that we are working within where everything is included. Do you see that? So that is what we are looking into. Now let's try to sketch the circle with radius of 4 units and center at 3i. So it is on the imaginary axis that it has a center. So let me just draw this imaginary axis. Now since the distance from here is 3 units but the radius is 4 this time so that means a, a circle could be uh, crossing the x-axis, correct? One unit below, right? So, so what should we have? So that means uh, this from here, it could be something like this. Okay. So from here, the this is 3i for us, right? This is imaginary axis, real, and that point will be minus i. Is that clear to you? That gives you, uh, and that should be 3 plus 4, which is 7i. Got it, right? So that is how we ensure that this radius here is 4 units. And when we say inside, that means everything inside. So you have to shade it up and including the periphery, right? So it is kind of like this. So I hope the concepts are absolutely clear, right? So this circle is included. Is that clear? Why? Because we have this less than equal to. So equal to means included. Perfect. So I think by now you have grand practice on this. Here is your test question. I like you to pause the video, right? And then sketch this one. So that's your plane for the complex numbers, you need to draw the Argand diagram representing the given inequality. Now in this inequality, first step is to write in this particular form, then I think the things will be absolutely clear. Z is with a negative sign, so we have to take care of that. So let's uh, rewrite this, we are given 3 minus Z minus 4i is greater than 6. So we could take the minus common, so we get z here with positive sign, all of the signs reverses, right? So this becomes 4i. Now absolute value of negative 1 is positive, so we could straight away write this as z minus 3 plus 4i, correct? Now we need to put this in bracket because it is z minus z1, so it is z minus 3 and change the sign 4i. Is that clear to you, right? So, so a lot of steps involved and that is the type of test question which you might just get. Now, I would like you to pause the video and sketch this out. So what is this? At present, we have the center. Center will be at 3 minus 4i and the radius is 6 units. When I say 3 minus 4i, that means uh, uh, what is the absolute value of z1? Well, that gives you z1 absolute value of 3 square plus 4 square square root, which is 5, correct? 9 plus 16 square root. So 5 is less than 6. Okay. Now, 3 minus 4i. So let's get this point, 3 minus 4i. That means you go three units, one, two, three, and minus means go down, one, two, three, four. So that becomes your center of the circle. Now, with this center, you have to take radius of greater than six, means this greater than six means we are not including the circle, but we are saying everything outside. This is what our inequality is indicating. 
So, so we have to make a bigger circle. So let's just uh, uh, make this four and two more units. That should be good. Uh, correct. So this is uh, from here five units. So it is kind of going to cut across like this. Correct. So I mean, I'm just making one. I know it's not perfect, but kind of gives you an idea, right? So what we're trying to say here is that this, this is six. Okay. And the center here is three minus four I. And the inequality, how should you sketch it? You have to shade outside. So it is greater than. So that is the inequality which we are talking about right nothing inside not even including the periphery correct so that is how you are going to sketch make it dotted if you want to right so that is even better so do not make the circle dark it has to be dotted so that becomes the argon diagram for the given inequality so i hope that is absolutely clear so I'd like you to go through this set of videos and understand what we have really done, right? So we began with this particular concept and I hope you have understood that Z minus Z1 less than equal to R means a circle where we're interested in area within including the circumference, right? So, But when it is only less than in that case, the circumference should not be included. Greater than means outside the circle. Less than equal to means again circumference should be included. And in such questions, we need to reorganize. And then look into the inequality with uh, the rearranged equation in the form of z minus z1 less than or equal to or sometimes greater than as the condition is given to you. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, share my videos with your friends, right? And see this video along with the other one where we have talked about the equations.